My name is uh, Arvind Chinchure. I'm a Chair Professor of Innovation and Entrepreneurship uh, at Symbiosis International University. Uh, I have been uh, attending Development Dialogue for almost eight years now, and have seen the transformation that has happened in this region during uh, my visits to Development Dialogue. This Development Dialogue also made me to be a volunteer to contribute to the vision of Deshpande Foundation. And I have been visiting on and off uh, after the, uh, before and after the development dialogue. What does development dialogue mean to me? And many people ask me this. For me, development dialogue is a platform, platform for the ideas, individuals, institutions, to create an impact. It's a confluence of four eyes, ideas, individuals, institutions for the impact. And, and I see that impact that is happening in Hubli and around um, Hubli. Now, what is the role of a sandbox? And I, I see that sandbox is creating a new model of building entrepreneurial ecosystem. If you look at developed world, in a developed world, the entrepreneurial ecosystem was always centered around the university, which is the epicenter of the ecosystem. But here I see a different model that is emerging where the foundation is becoming an epicenter to create that ecosystem. And, that, and this ecosystem is making everyone to transform themselves and transform the society. And this is what I see, a new model of entrepreneurial ecosystem which is emerging out of uh, India. Um, what it means for me, uh, or what I want to see in future, uh, in development dialogue, I want to see that some of the organizations who came here with a idea or with a proof of idea as a small organization what i want to see is that develop uh, Desh Pande foundation and development uh, development dialogue becomes a catalyst for them to scale to a newer heights but not in a traditional way but but innovative way I think um, uh, I want to see hundreds of organizations scaling up very fast, effectively, based on innovation, based on a new model that is relevant to the region, that is relevant to the nation, and particularly India. For any scale, uh, I think there are two or three most important uh, uh, elements. One is leveraging the technology, because now technology is becoming accessible. Technology is becoming very powerful way and medium to scale. But technology is not enough. We need to also build the partnerships. Partnership with other organizations, and particularly government and government organization, because if you want to achieve the kind of a scale across a state or a nation, it is very important that you, ha you have the partnership with the, uh, with the government. The third thing is that when you are a small organization, the kind of a systems and processes that you use are very limited, and that basically limits when you scale up. So you need to bring in the world class, not the best practices, but the next practices. And those next practices will enable you to become effective and scale very effectively. I think these could be the ways and pathways to scale effectively and scale fast and make an impact not at a local level, 
but at a national level or perhaps at the global level one thing that you know uh, when uh, so uh, for me development dialogue is a pilgrimage and i have said this again and again in every conversation that i have um, uh, in uh, deshpande foundation or outside of deshpande foundation why pilgrimage because here is a place that you are going to meet people otherwise you would not have met in your any of activities for example i can meet ngos i can meet farmers i can meet um, uh, investors i can meet industrialists i can meet um, uh, csr professionals i can meet students i can meet all sections of the society all, and and that is something which is so unique about the development dialogue i never seen that when i was moderating a panel we have a, a bureaucrat sitting along with other um, stakeholders of the society so we don't see often that is happening because suppose i am a scientist i work in a physics so i always go to a conference and meet only physicist but i never get to meet other uh, other sections of the uh, people from other sections of the society so that i can broaden my understanding my knowledge about uh, about the nation about the society about the opportunities about the challenges and so on so so this is where i see that it's a platform it is a it's 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 a it's a platform where you can get an access to all stakeholders of the society and and this platform is created uh, a dialogue between all the sections of the society so that eventually you know the development happens the development happens inclusively the development happens uh, equitably and uh, and and sustains over a period of time when i come here i get inspired and that inspi uh, that inspiration sustains me over a period of one year and i come here and i can get inspired so when i say inspired um, it's like a fuel and 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 that i get that fuel uh, by listening to the to the stories of the people who who have done extraordinary things and in a constrained environment and that makes me feel that there's so much can be done and and that gives me the hope and uh, the hope for the uh, the better future and and and, and that's why i think every development dialogue i come i get inspired and 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 do uh, many things um, that otherwise i would not have done for example i connect different dots this is a place where i get to know different dots and then i i connect these dots when i go out of uh, hubli um, uh, so that eventually uh, the, the these dots become a, a very compelling solutions that will have a larger impact dd provides amazing experience but i see that there is a uh, there is a, there is a system in a in a chaos so um, sometimes it is you know unpredictable you know what is going to happen and and so on so if we can bring little bit of you know system in this madness or or more predictable things uh, in this big event i think that would really uh, help but having said this uh, you know when i look at this uh, event which is such a big and large event and these this but whole event is managed by volunteers and and not you know the professionals uh, who have been trained to manage the event so in that sense i have a big admiration and i need to give the compliments to every volunteer who is contributing so but still i think there is always an improvement to be more predictable um, and um, and and uh, and bringing more uh, clarity uh, in everything that we do so thanks